Hey, what is up, guys? Today is a video on how to make YouTube videos for gaming. So let's get straight into this. Um, first things first, I'm gonna leave a download in the description, and if you are not on a phone or a tablet, you should have an annotation right around on the screen anywhere, most likely right around the top edges, to download these few things. Now, if you are on if you are on a Mac, then you will not have access to everything I got here. But for Movie Maker, if you're on a Dell or just anything that's like, you know what I mean, like uh, Windows. If, if you're on anything that's Windows, you will default, by default, have a free editor software. You'll have M Movie Maker, and that's pretty good to start off. Now, it's not going to be something really advanced, but with the recording software that you're going to be using, that I'm going to be giving you guys a download link to right down here on the bottom. Hopefully, I remember that. It's going to be OBS, so OBS can help you out with a few things like that. So OBS, uh, let me give you guys a quick tour of it, and I'm gonna let you know how. Like, let, I'm gonna let you guys know how OBS works and how it can actually help you. So as you can see right over here, I made myself a Twitch overlay, aka also just a live streaming overlay in general. So let's say I wanted to add that in, but I'm just like, well, I can't really add that in. While well, I'm like, you cannot add that in in editing software for Twitch, but if you were like recording a video and you want to add it in. You just be like, uh, how am I going to add this in, like right here? Well, what you could do is it's not actually going to pop up on your screen for you, but it's going to pop up like right here. You're going to see it. So let's go to image, or you can do media source, which is practically the same thing, just that's actually like a video instead. So if we go over to desktop and then go over to FSL overlay, all right, V3, open. And there we go. And if you cannot see it just yet, then just click this button up and it should be above this. So we might want to just enlarge it just to fit the screen and then move it up. There we go. So it's not showing up on the actual screen, but when we record, you're going to see it. So we're going to leave it there. But you have to keep in mind, while having an image, you use up just as much CPU usage. And my CPU usage, it's I get a lot of bad CPU, so... Um, keep in mind, you might want to have a decent laptop or computer. A laptop's good to start, but with gameplay videos, you want to have a decent laptop, if anything. So then I'll have this added on, and then let's just say I would be in a game. And if you want to use a hotkey, you can just, uh, my hotkey for recording, to start recording is F7, and my, uh, my hotkey to, to stop recording is F6. Reason being is because those ones are least used in video games, on, uh, on laptops and computers and on PC gaming in general. So I'm going to click F7. Wait, no. I'm not even... Wait, yes, I am recording. <laughs> I'm such a fool. Oh my gosh. I thought I was not recording, but pretty much I click F7. Since I'm already recording, I cannot start recording. And I can also stream while recording. That's very useful if you want to use a part of your stream or just like get a highlight tape from like, I don't know. <laughs> like, you know what I mean. You can record while streaming, but you have to keep in mind that it does take a big toll on your CPU. A large toll because it's doing so many things at once. So that means I'm recording this now, and it's going to end up in the recording that I've actually shown you guys already. So if you're re-seeing this, it's kind of just there, and it's going to be stuck there. So you can also remove stuff like this, and if you want to see a, if you want to see an in-depth tutorial, which I will be giving shortly after this video, uh, just stick around, subscribe to my channel if you want to, if you want to stay up to date with any other tutorials on how to make your channel better, because I decided I should probably go into something like that. But if we go over here, you can do stream and stuff like this. You'll get a stream key and all that kind of stuff for like different kind of streaming services. But that's not what we're really going to be here for. So you're going to get your bit rate on how you're going to be recording, streaming, audio, all these kind of cool things. Um, so if you have a bad PC, I recommend putting it up to ultra fast, baseline. And actually, it does not take too much of a toll. I like to go in 60 frames per second either way. So uh, video hope cannot be changed like this. But I have it at 720p because I do not want to go anything below that. And I'm at 60 FPS, and then I have hot keys here to start to start recording and to stop recording. And then also we have over here, and we have all these other things that are very helpful and that you can get into. So now, uh, pretty much OBS can allow you to do those kind of things, which means if you ever make an image, you can get all set up on that. So let's say I want to stop this recording. Uh, what I do is let me just grab a random recording. So I have some of this gameplay. And I actually had to delete some of this gameplay because stuff was getting messed up. This gameplay I had to delete. So I won't really care if I put it in here. It's not really a spoiler. So it's going to load up for about 7 minutes at max is how long they usually say it takes. But that's how long it's going to take. 
and I'm gonna show you guys how to get everything in 1080p, but really quickly. Now I'm not gonna say it's gonna happen with like like zoom speed, but it's gonna happen really quickly, rather quickly actually. So uh, while we're over here, you can see that there's settings right here. Um, I'm gonna walk you through my setup as I already partially did, but not fully. So uh, for stream service, you're gonna pick in between one of these stream services. Uh, Twitch is the highest use. YouTube is just getting into that, and you could also do uh, backup YouTube and ingest. In uh, ingest server. I don't really understand any of that stuff, but uh, I assume that that's important. But you're gonna have your stream key. Now I'm not gonna show this because that means people will be able to stream on my YouTube account. And all you have to do is add in your stream key, and then after you're gonna start recording. So anyone that has your stream key and just puts it into their OBS or whatever program they're using to record, I mean to stream. <laughs> Um, they'll instantly pop up in your channel pretty much. Then we're also over here. Uh, two two thousand five hundred is the recommended uh bitrate. Uh, UCBR if you want to. I don't really know what it does. I really don't. I'm gonna be figuring that out soon, and that way I'm all set up for my uh in depth tutorial for you guys. And then audio over here. I've not really played around with that. I changed my thing to seven twenty uh to seven twenty p. And whenever recording gameplay, I'll put this down to low. And whenever I'm put uh, and whenever I want like whenever I'm not doing gameplay, I'll put it up on its highest max and I'll put myself on 60 FPS. And then hotkeys they're really helpful if you ever want to like make something like pop up in the middle of your recording. And you can even make it pop up on the full screen. Or like you know, it's like stuff like that. And pretty much it just pops up on the screen, but you will not be able to see it unless you want to like go to like a different uh window mode and like they have like different kind of displays. So let me just show you guys the window displays. I uh, no, do not save any of my changes, even though I probably should. So let me show you guys a few things. So um, we have image, which is pretty much what I just showed you guys. It's pretty much just like any image that you can just put on like the screen. Media source is for like any like video data that is not an image that you want to put on the screen. Text, you can just add a text, type in whatever, and it will show up on the screen. Display capture that practically just capture all. It, uh, it practically just captures all of the display and you can rename all these after you put them in right now mine's just named display capture because I've been playing around with how I want to set things up and it just captures everything on the screen and there's also window capture which means if you ever need to like because for me OBS uh, since I cannot open up apps or click the or click the record button and for some odd reason my hotkey will not react to OBS if I'm like in like a full screen game I have to go to window mode which means if I need to record in window mode and I still want you guys to have full screen and don't have anything like on like the sides because it cannot match up to my uh, HD my HD uh, screen then I'll just use window mode and it will just capture it and possibly actually make the graphics better since it's condensing all the pixels into one or it does not condense them I'm not sure but then there's also game capture um, I'll be giving a more of a tutorial on this but it's practically just a display capture and this is for like if you have like a mic that you like like if you like you have like a snowball ice or anything like that, you can use that video capture device is like an Elgato, anything that's meant for like um console gaming, stuff like that, and etc. Uh, and etc. And then you can just add scenes and that's pretty much just like if you were to click on a different scene, that's what's gonna pop up. So that's how it pretty much works. Which means like if you look at one of my videos, the free giveaway video, I'll put something, I'll put an annotation like right here maybe, I hopefully I do. Um, I'm not gonna put it in the description. I'm not really gonna try and get you guys to look at it. It's maybe it's none of you like, maybe you're just not interested in it. But it shows an example of how this software works if you look at it and see how smooth it can actually work if you know what you're doing. So by then this should already be uploaded. Yep. And what happened here? Oh, I think I deleted the gameplay. Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah, I think I deleted the gameplay. Pretty much you have this over here. This is actually 60 FPS, but it will get lowered down to 60 FPS. So do whatever cuts you want. I recommend not using this. I recommend just uploading in 1080p because then you're gonna have to go through like a Microsoft account to that. And I recommend just staying away from these because they cut up your videos and stuff like that. It may mess around with like the timing, but you can add in titles and stuff like that. Very basic. You can even add narration, like let's say, let's say I recorded a video and I wanted to do it like uh, pre-recorded, then I could do that instead of doing it live commentary. You can add in music. You can even add in your own videos and photos if you don't want to just drag it in there. And then you can actually like right click on stuff, copy, and all this other, so all those kind of things. I'll also be doing it in depth on those. Then what you want to do is if you want to be exporting this out, 
go to save movie and then there you go so keep in mind this will remove the 60 fps most likely because it removes the 60 fps from my videos uh... because you have to have like a full 60 fps video and it kind of like converts and all this other kind of stuff with what file it is and stuff like that but at least you're getting 1080p and people like 1080p um... but people honestly don't really care about 1080p as long as it's as long as the video is hd no one will really care like if you're riding in 4k no one's really gonna notice it's hard to notice with our eyes we can only really notice frames per second that's something that we actually notice but after you're gonna click on this and it's gonna just do that and you're gonna just save it as something my movie and save and after then it's gonna like show like a bar and you're just gonna wait for that to finish and after it's gonna ask you if you wanna open the folder and stuff like that you can just click X on that and after then it will show up right on your desktop and after then you can go over to YouTube and after just drop it into the thing box like where it shows like upload or you can just click on it and then find the file on your desktop which is a little bit more work but whatever tickles your fancy <laughs> and that's all I really have to talk about for today guys so thank you guys for watching hope this helped you guys out a lot it, it would be nice if we could hit about five likes on this video if you if it was helpful to you then I'd like to hit five likes on this video if you really did enjoy it and you want to see more of this kind of stuff and thank you guys for watching this has been FB Spartan Live aka Apex Virus 83 signing off hope you guys all enjoyed the video and game on, guys.